All right, so let's talk about the meaning of life. Now, one of the, one of the back and forths in the dialogues between atheists, Christian, and uh, the Christian will say to the atheist, but you have, there's no meaning to your life. And the atheist will counter with, but there's tons of meaning in my life. I have so much meaning in my life. I've got my, you know, my stupid kids and my, <laughs> my, <laughs> and my ugly wife. No, your wife's fine, your wife's fine. I'm sure she's fine, she's fine. She's not like my wife, but I'm sure she's fine. Um, I got my wife and whatever, my cars and my cat and whatever you got. It's all, it's all so meaningful to you. It's not really the issue. Herein lies the rub, Mr. Atheist. If there is no God, then there is no intrinsic meaning to life. There is no, we were not put here for a purpose. There is no reason for me to necessarily be here. I wasn't designed for any particular purpose in mind. My life is, it is up to me to create my own meaning in life. And that's how you answer the question. It's up to me to create my own meaning in life. Here's, herein lies the problem. And this is probably why atheism is never going to grow past a certain segment of the population. Yeah, well, just listen, check it out. That violates something deep within most people, including me. Deep, deep, deep within me violates an essential knowingness. Deep within me, long before I became a Christian, that, that, that knowledge was in me. Now you'd argue it's not knowledge. I would argue it's knowledge. Whatever. Whatever. Tomato, tomato. Point is, prior to me becoming a Christian, yeah, that's one of the reasons why it was so easy. I was telling this to my friend. It was so, so easy for me to become a Christian was that even when I was like, Mr., you know, I'm so cool. I'm so skeptical, man. I'm drinking all the time. I smoke so much weed. I'm like, I'm so skeptical, man. It's so awesome. I drink, I drink so much. I smoke so much weed. Even when I was that guy, it was so easy for me to transform into this guy, Mr. Holy Roller, Mr. Holier Than Now, because... Ever since as far back as I can remember, maybe going back to like fourth grade, I had a really, really, really deep sense of personal destiny, really deep within me, that I was put here for a reason, that I was designed specifically with a purpose in mind to do something, you know, I won't say necessarily important, but some really big deal, you know, as soon as these people stopped harassing me, I was going to set the world on fire, you know. The line in the, what's the line in the Billy Joel song? I'm sure that I could be a movie star if I could get out of this place. That line. I had that sense in me all the time. For ever since as far back as I remember, when I was, even when I was a fourth grader in the schoolyard, pushing other fourth graders around, you know? Give me money. Give me money. Why? Wow, I want lunch. <laughs> Little. All right, anyways, uh, losing the subject. What's the subject? So... Intrinsic meaning to life. The idea that there is no intrinsic meaning to life tends to violate something deep within most people's hearts. The Bible says the law will be written in men's hearts. Part of that code that seems to be written deep within us. Now, if you're an atheist, you're already like scoffing. <laughs> I scoff at this, scoff at what this guy says. Fine, scoff away, scoffer. But... It seems to me obvious. It seems to me something deep within me that I didn't put there. That, per that sense of personal destiny that was very strong in me wasn't something that I, it, that I ginned up in myself. I mean, maybe I helped it along a little, but that, that idea seemed to be a knowledge. That's why it was so easy for me to go like I say, from Mr., you know, I'm so skeptical, it's so awesome, to Mr., I'm the holiest thing in town, give me the Bible, give me the Bible, give me, oh, you know, Mr., that guy. It was so easy for me to, to switch teams like that, just like that, boom, switch teams, overnight, 150%. Because I had never, even when I was like, you know, um... I had never lost my sense of personal destiny. Now, I'm going to go further with that in another, in another video in just a little bit, little bit here. 
That's all I'll say on the subject for now. I'm going to go further with this, a lot further with this, in videos to come. So, stay tuned.